Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetry.com and today we are here at the Samsung event and they have launched the Samsung Galaxy S7 which we have right now at front of your screen and this device has been launched for a price of 48,900 rupees which is a pretty aggressive price and they are also giving Samsung Gear VR free with this phone in case you pre-book. So as far as the build quality is concerned, the build quality has been great on this phone and it is again very much inspired from the design which we have seen earlier last year on Samsung Galaxy S6. So this is a lot like S6 but it is an enhanced an improved version in terms of design as well as in terms of the overall features as far as camera is concerned the camera bump is no longer there as you can see the camera is almost flat at the surface of the phone and it is not basically bulging out which is definitely a good thing and it has got a 12 megapixel camera at this time compared to 16 megapixel camera which we have seen last year but this camera is better because it has got dual pixel autofocus camera technology and it has also get better aperture over there which is f 1.7 which will take very good photos in low light as well as in dark scenarios you have fingerprint sensor and other sensors over there with led light which is the flashlight which has not improved i would say this is the branding of the samsung and this device is not the final retail model but this is almost the testing model which you will see everything is same on this device as far as hardware goes it has got the samsung exynos cpu inside which is 8890 octa core cpu clocked at 2.6 gigahertz it has got a 5.1 inch quad hd display and again the display looks very colorful and very good in terms of wing as angle as well it is nice and outdoor visibility of the display is also very good you can see that the display is still visible even in outdoor conditions like right now and as far as the front is concerned the front top has got the metallic earpiece 5 megapixel fixed focus camera this camera is also f 1.7 and you have proximity and embed light sensors as well at the bottom of the phone you have got the physical home button which also have the fingerprint sensor and you have touch capacity buttons which do have battery delivery at the bottom of the phone you have got micro USB port for data syncing and charging and you also have got loudspeaker which is a mono loudspeaker a prime microphone hole over there and a 3.5 mono jack on the left side of the phone you have the volume rocker and both of the buttons are separate metallic buttons they give you good amount of feedback as far as the placement for the power and sleep keys concerned it is there on the right and it is slightly below the placement for the volume rocker so that you can easily access it although it is not there in the middle the overall use of metal on the samsung galaxy s7 is quite good it does make this phone look quite premium and it also adds a very good build quality as well let's take a look over the software ui and we have the latest version of touchless ui running on top of android 6.0.1 which is marshmallow which is a good thing let me go into internal configuration and find out the internal details first of all we will find out the version of android and here we have the version of Android on this device, which is Android 6.0.1, which is good. And let me take a look over the storage scenario. On the storage front, you will get 32 GB storage model, 64 GB storage model. 32 GB is priced at 48,900 rupees and the available amount of user space is 24.48 and the system is taking 7.52. As far as camera interface goes, this is how it looks like. The camera interface has remained the same in terms of the look and feel which we have seen earlier. And we do have some extra modes over there which includes the hyperlapse mode. You also can make a video collage as well. You have slow motion over there and then we have pro mode and selective focus mode which are kind of old. Again, you can also download more modes as well and you can take photos in all these modes. As far as photo clarity is confirmed we took some photos and this is how the clarity is the photo clarity is very good you can capture good amount of details good blurring over there in the background you can see when we took this photo and the colors are very nicely reproduced as well again the outdoor visibility of the display is also very nice and this is a super amulet display so the overall wing angles and the display clarity is one of the best you can get and in case you take a look over the photos which we have captured right now and even if you do the zoom you will not see uh, pixelation everything is captured in a very crisp and clear way so in terms of the clarity the colors you expect the rear camera is doing a good job as far as front camera is concerned the front camera is also good it has got a 5 megapixel fixed focus front camera over there and the front camera photos are also very good the selfies are coming out to be good in terms of the clarity in terms of details and the overall colors are also looking nice so the display is good and the photo clarity is also one of the best on this device you can get at this price point in any other flagship phone apart from this if we take a look over the settings you can also record high definition video you can record 4k resolution video you can record full high definition video at 60 fps as well all these options are supported you also have the option of enabling the tracking autofocus you can also take a short video clip before capturing a photo you can enable this feature and all these features in the camera department does 
make this phone special and better compared to other devices even after dropping water on this phone nothing has happened the display is still working even when i am using it with wet fingers over there you can see that so my fingers are wet and i still can use the display of the samsung galaxy s7 which we have right now and same goes for the s7 edge as well which we have over there so in case i just make it completely wet i can still use the display of this device which is definitely better and both of these devices the s7 edge and the s7 has got ip68 certification you can actually dip them inside water and still after that they will keep on working as far as the headphone jack is concerned the headphone jack will get water but you can always shake it out and the headphone functionality will not be affected even when you dip the phone inside water or if you accidentally drop them in water this is all we have as far as the quick hands-on review of samsung galaxy s7 in case you have any queries and questions please leave your queries and questions in the comment section below you can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you